Now one of the more important concepts is memory map. And a memory map shows you where your flash, RAM, and I.O. exist in the memory space of your microcontroller. Now the 32-bit one that we have has actually a total of 4 gigabytes of total space, but it doesn't use up all of that. So we're going to find our flash memory goes from this address to this address, RAM memory goes from here to here, and I.O. memory goes from here to here. Now you may have remembered this diagram here from before when we took a look at just inside the blue rectangle here where we're looking at 64K, which was the total resources that we had for the HCS08. But when we start expanding one more column here, we go 0 to 15, which is 16 times 64. This becomes a 1 meg address space. And what we're going to find is if we compare 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to FFFFF here, that's exactly the address range we have for flash memory. So we can very easily work out that flash memory does indeed have 1 meg of total resources here. Now if we jump ahead to I.O. memory, we can see that here, this is 0, 0, 0, 0 to FFFF, that's 64K. How many 64K ranges do we have? We have 8 64K ranges, which is half of a megabyte, because 16 64K ranges is 1 megabyte. So that's fairly easy to work out. Now figuring out the amount of RAM is a little trickier. What you're going to find is that if you look at this range, it goes from 1 FFF 0000 to 2002 FFFF. And when you do break it down, you say, okay, this is one range here, which is a 64K range. This is another 64K range. Altogether, there are four 64K ranges. And we know that 16 64K ranges is one megabyte. So four is a quarter of that. So the total amount of RAM we have here is one quarter of a megabyte. So you should be able to work out address ranges like this on any test that I give you to the nearest megabyte, quarter megabyte, or half a megabyte.